Howdy, and welcome to Family Friendly Foods. Today, we're shooting at the Value Market at Mid-City Mall. Value Market's a sponsor, and sometimes we like to shoot in the stores because it's fun and people can come by and taste the food we're making. And what's interesting about that, they learn about new things. Uh, today, we're doing Da Vinci, and I love Da Vinci pasta. And so we're doing three things with pasta. We're doing a soup, a salad, and we are doing something really good with these raviol, ra raviol, raviolettis. I'm sorry, I, I'm not just Italian at all. So let's get ready to get started and we're gonna make our soup first. All right, so what we're doing today, we're making a takeoff on gazpacho, mm. which is a Spanish cold soup, ah. and it's always made with fresh tomatoes. Well, this is not the season for fresh tomatoes not right yet. now. So I'm using V8 juice, Value Market mm. V8, and this is, uh, oh, a pull, they make low sodium, which evidently is still sitting where I sat it. Now, what Kirby's doing is she's got some minced garlic, and oh. you might want to use that to squeeze These. in here. Yes. Uh, she's going to squeeze some fresh lime juice. <clears throat> I thought it would be easier to keep it together. You know, I love Kirby. It's amazing. <laughs> but her husband loves me. Yes. So, no, Kirby. <laughs> what did she want me to do with it? What you're going <laughs> to gonna do is you're gonna squeeze it like you always do and then instead oh. of <laughs> this tool you all, I'm sorry this tool is new to me this year this time around <laughs> okay good all right now I have cut up real small some yellow bell pepper a little bit of celery and I'm gonna cut a cucumber and the pasta I'm using, when I cut the cucumber, I want to take the seeds out. So I kind of cut that at a V and they pop right out. And the pasta I'm using in this today is this, uh, Didol, Didolini. And it's a nice small pasta. And this soup has <laughs> vegetables. Oh, Can't you, in, did I say it wrong? Didolini. Okay. Yeah, it's close enough. All right, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, goodness gracious, what happens on Friendly Family Foods just happens. And our lovely producer, she does not cut anything out. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. We need to start paying her off. With I know, we do. Um, I'm going to cut this in real small julienne strips, kind of like McDonald's french fry size. Oh, this is a worthless tool. Well, can you do it just with your hands? <laughs> I mean, what were we thinking? I'm just going to go like this. All right, you do what you can do. Oh, watch it stib in your hand like that. I know. Well, this is like if you used a fork. No, it's not. A fork's not going to go through to the back of your hand. All right, I'm going to go like this. Sometimes I like to put limes or lemons down my garbage disposal. Oh, just clean it? Yeah. To make it smell better? Yes, I did that last night. Well, you said you've been cooking a lot. I have been cooking a lot, 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 using your family-friendly recipes. Well, you said you liked the chicken salad we did that, that day. That was really good. Yeah, I, I made that for Derby. Oh, you did? Yeah. So we can just go back to, I think we have 39 episodes up um, on YouTube now. So if you're ever hankering for something delicious to eat. It's fun. While she's struggling with that, and she really is, <laughs> I'm going to cut this up. Now, the recipe says two to three green onions. She always gives me the hardest jobs. Well, heck yeah. Now look how, there's three green onions right there. This is one green onion. Yep. I'm gonna use this for the two to three green onions, okay? That's like a Frankenstein green onion. It, it, absolutely, only a value market. So I'm gonna cut the, what I tell kids is the hairy part off. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cut this in half long ways because it's so fat and then I'm going to cut it again because I don't want to get a big bite Hi. in Good. my mouth. 
Hey, how are y'all? Y'all want to come back and taste some food here in a minute? All right, now, Squeeze what's going to happen? The reason we're squeezing that lime juice into the garlic. Yeah, why is, are we doing it's this? It's going to make the garlic bleed, so it kind of almost like cooks it like ceviche. Oh, oh. the garlic's bleeding. Would you hand me the uh, bin scraper? Yeah. Oh, boy. Here we go. The windshield scraper. Mm -hmm. Thank you. They don't know. If you haven't watched before, you don't know that I thought that was for cleaning a windshield when it's of a snowed. car when it snows. But it turns out it's actual, actually a cooking a tool. A real thing. And I love this. If yeah. you don't have one of these, go to Dine Restaurant and get it. It's great. All right. Now, I've got all what we call mise en place cut up mise en for place. my soup. Now, I'm going to put the soup in here for right now. Mise en place. And what we're going to do, oh, I know what Kirby needs to do after you do that. Yes. Would you chiffonade some basil? <gasps> I'd be more than happy to chiffonade right. some basil. We've got some mm -hmm. fresh basil back there from um, the grocery. That's done. All right. Paula now, one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. And this is better when it's icy cold, OK? I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to pour it in. Now, we're going to use that basil for pasta salad, too. So if you just want to not destroy the whole now thing. Now, I've done that. And I need from over there, madam, the Italian seasoning. It should be right there. Italian now, seasoning. I'm putting some dried Italian seasoning in here. Because in about five minutes, it'll have flavored everything. Really? Yeah. And it gives it another umph. Remember, these aren't fresh tomatoes, but it's V8 juice. When you get the low sodium, this stuff's pretty healthy. Okay? So I'm going to, it's about a teaspoon or so in there. I wonder if any of your chef friends ever watch this. Oh, they'd trust be, me. They'd be mortified by my skills. I mean, it's been mentioned. Skills. It has been mentioned? It's been mentioned. Aww. Oh. All right, so I've got my soup. I've got my dried herbs. You know what, though? I'm reality. Well, you are. That's why, actually, That's you know why around. Kirby and I get along? When did you first come to Louisville? In 90 what? 94. Okay, and we met around 97. Mm hmm And she was doing Louisville Tonight, and her soon-to-be husband, worked with me at St. Vincent de Paul. Yes. He was a counselor and I was the chef nope, for the whole place. that was place. not my husband. No, your husband's brother. And Correct. I'm sorry, I get so mixed up. That's all right. All right, so anyway, oh that's God, I don't how know that guy. and she was taping me for something mm -hmm. and we realized that she made me look normal size mm -hmm. and I made her look tall. Yes. We've been best friends ever since. You got to find somebody like that in life and stick with them. That's right. So I've got these vegetables that I've cut up. Cook. And you can put any kind of vegetable in here you want, really. Um, in the middle of the summer, and you put some fresh tomatoes in too, which you can do and makes it really fun. Squash, mm, zucchini. Good idea. You can put anything in here. This is so great, doing it's it in a so big simple. picture like that. Now. You ready for what? On, on your side is the Didalini, did the what do the didalini is yeah, over here. See, it's right there next to the twist. So here's the didalini. I don't know how to say that. Well, what's your new word for measuring? Oh, for the 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 tablespoon. How do I say the tablespoon? The diabla, the diabla spoon, <laughs> the diabla spoon. All right, now I've already cooked this, and after I cooked didalini. it, I drained it. I shocked it under cold water. Put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on it, the Da Vinci. And if you've never heard of Da Vinci olive oil, you really ought to try it sometime. It's mm. good. And, you know, you have extra virgin, virgin, and regular. Extra virgin is the strongest, and it's the first squeeze of the olive. And then the second squeeze and the third. Don't ever buy light olive oil. You might as well use canola oil. Oh. All right. Now, look, I've got this in here. Yes. And let's add the, the chiffonade. chiffonade. I'm glad you asked. I thought you would never ask for the chiffonade. All righty. And we're going to stir that in. And now I would like the lime juice. You need a little bit. You can use lemon juice, too. But you need a little acid. And mm. there we go. I'm not adding salt. You can add salt later. 
Now, what we're going to do is put this lid on, mm -hmm. and we're going to wait a few minutes for it to really come together. So, while I put this someplace cold, guess what we're getting ready to do? Pasta salad. Pasta salad. So okay. I was pasta salad and the ingredients are going to be fresh mozzarella that we diced we've got a red onion and now don't use that much of it if you want to use a green onion you can you need a little bit of onion in this and pasta of course and I use the twists for this I love these things that's not a very Italian name for those pasta twist a twist yeah well it's better than something else Delini. like, like table 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 or whatever it was you said anyway so again with my pasta i cooked it drained it and ran it under cold water and it's got a little bit of olive oil on it i know i don't normally use olive oil but i'm using olive oil with all this stuff because hey that's what you do when it's italian you use olive oil so i've already got my twist cooked and I'm adding my wonderful fresh mozzarella. Mm, yeah. Now you can use something grated if you want, but mm, I don't know. She's cutting the tomatoes. Fine. And then I need the um, the black olives and the artichoke. Hearts. I'll get those. No, do I need to cut these up for you? No. Then here you are. All right, black olives, and these are the small pitted, and these are the best artichoke. <laughs> Best artichoke hearts in the world. They really are. Reese, Reese is the brand. We used to use this. Well, some of these are a little big, Kirby. I'll be happy to pick these up. If you could pour them out and see. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got all this and the color. Look at this. Shall I just throw these in as I get to it? Well, why don't you cut them all at one time? Oh, okay. Put don't them make here. them too small. No, I won't. I, see, you got to watch her, too because she starts eating them. <laughs> She's one of those. I am one of those. All right, now I've got this. Hey, on these artichoke hearts, do you use all these little leafy parts too? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I thought this was the artichoke heart, just this No, that's part. the bottom. Do we use that? Yeah, Okay. use it all. Use it all. All right. Now, with a serrated knife, you don't press like that. You saw. We saw. Okay. Now, what I've got here is Lebanese or lemon dressing. Mm. And it's a real pick-me-up, and it's something different than using vinegar all the time. You've made this before, and it's oh, delicious. Oh, I've made it several times. It's like my favorite thing. And it's you can do whatever you want with it. You can put whatever you want in it. Um, I am going to want some fresh basil when you get Would done. you like it sh a chiffonade? Chiffonade. Yeah. Yes, all right. Let me hurry so up then. So I'm going to do this, and what it is, it's garlic, lemon juice, and extra virgin olive oil. All right. It will separate, so you have to shake it. Okay, and I don't know if I'm going to need any more or not. The idea behind this pasta, not only does it have ridges around the twists, it also has a hole through it, so it really absorbs wonderful flavors like this Lebanese dressing. If you're making something with marinara or something, it would absorb that too. Now I'm going to put these in it. Mmm, this basil smells so good. Oh. Is this basil from Value Market? Yes. It's very fresh. It is. They, they do a good job of keeping stuff clean. Now look at these colors, folks. How would about that? Would you like the basil in there now? Yes, if you've got it. Mmm. Mmm, -hmm. taste it. Okay. Whoops. Oh, that's so good. It's that dressing. It's that it dressing. It makes everything delicious. I'm just gonna put the rest of it on it because you know what? I don't want to <laughs> clean that. Okay. Now I'm going after my own heart. There you go. Let's see. Do you want more basil? I think you need yes, more basil. Yes. Yes. Give me the rest of it. Okay. And I'm gonna put this little bit of onion in it. Not a lot, just a little. And again, if you want to use green onion, that's fine. All right. And we're going to taste this in just a second. Yeah, hang on. Let me get my chiffonade You do that, here. and I'm going to get some plates and some spoons. All right. This will make it all that. This is a great summer recipe, I think. Oh, it's, you can put meat in it if you want. No, thanks. 
Yeah, well, you don't eat meat. Well, I, clearly I do on this show. But, but here, you ready to taste it? We got we had somebody that's been waiting patiently. Yes, one of our studio audience. Don't leave. Come here, sir. You want it? It's ready to go. It's ready to taste. You've been waiting so patiently. Here we go. Give me a blank on an artichoke heart. Yeah. Too many tomatoes. Too many tomatoes? Yeah, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Jean, please taste that and let us know what you think. Now, I haven't even put salt on it. Maybe we don't need salt. Well, Jean well, will let us know. Yeah. Let me know if you think it needs salt. Jean. Could you use some very salt? Good. Oh, very I'll good. Well, you then, would put salt on it? Mm -hmm. You would. All right. Here you go, Jean. All right. And I'm going to put some on this. Mm -hmm. We're going to stir it up again. All right. If you want. All right. Well, thanks oh, for stopping by, Gene. Gotta go to work. Thanks yeah, for staying. Yeah. Thank you, Jean. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. The next thing we're gonna make is my ravi rav ravioletti. 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 Okay, one more pasta dish, Curb. I'm going to turn my burner on. And I'm going to chiffonade this basil while you're doing that. Right, and at the very end, we're going to put that in. We don't want the fresh basil to cook. No. Okay, so I'm going to cover the bottom of this with some olive oil. And again, I'm using the extra virgin da Vinci. And the pasta I'm using in this is this ravioletti. You could also use the um, tortellini if you wanted to. Okay, I just grabbed this one because why not? All right, now I'm going to have this. It's going to get kind of going good here, going good. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put my main thing here, garlic. All right, I'm putting some garlic in it. Finely minced. Finely minced. I mean, finally you minced it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kirby, you're sick. Okay, now I'm going to stir this. It's cooking, as you can see, the little bubbles. And it's not quite level here, so while that's cooking, I'm going to add my ravioletti that I've already cooked. It's a whole bag of it. All right. Or a whole box. I don't know why these things are so hard. Again, I washed it. You've got to cook this gently or it'll explode. You want it to cook, boil, but not at a real big boil. All right, I did the same thing with this. Those are adorable. Aren't they? Uh, these make a cute pasta salad, too. But this, this is dinner Yes. right here after I make this. And it's so simple. Now, I got my garlic, and I've got that. And I'm going to put, this is the petite dice. Mm -hmm. And it makes a big difference okay. when you're using it for a sauce. So you put the oil, olive oil in, then the minced garlic, just for a moment, then yeah. the ravioli, ravioletti, and now this petite diced right. tomatoes. Come off. I'm letting it cook. Okay. I've got a half a cup of frozen peas. Mm. So, and you can add more to it if you want. Peas are used a lot, like in uh, Italian food. I had some. Um, risotto last night when I went to go to the uh, Hello Dolly and uh, they had uh, peas in it. Peas you see a lot in uh, Italian food. In fact, there's a, another rice dish called Risi Bisi. Yes. I and mean, that uses peas. And it adds a little splash of color too, which is nice. Yes. Again, eat your colors as we know. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to let this cook for a minute. And what I want here is about a half a cup, and this is two cups. Wow, I couldn't reach the cup ones. It's on the very top. Well, you've already opened it, so you're gonna have to keep it. Oh, I'm gonna use it. Now, this can is about a cup and three fours. Mm -hmm. So I can kind of measure with this to get about a half a cup. I like that. Dirty and fewer utensils. And exactly, rinsing that I'm can out. have to clean. Now, look at this. It's a mm. tomato cream sauce. Oh my goodness. Isn't that lovely? That's simple? That's simple. And we're going to let it cook down a little. And while we are, hand me the parm. Got it. 
And we want about a third to a half a cup of parm. And my hands are clean, thank you very much. And I'm using this parm. I was going to grate some, but most people don't do that. Why? So I've, I've decided to try this one. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if we like it. It looks good to me. And it's going to melt in here, and it's going to make the cream almost like an Alfredo sauce. Oh, yum. Because an Alfredo sauce is just heavy cream and uh, thicken it with your Parmesan. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're adding pepper, but no salt. Right, because we're trying to cut back on salt. We can add salt, like I added a little bit to the pasta salad. But let's taste this first. I agree. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to let this reduce just a little. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. No big deal. Uh, as long as I didn't get on your black dress, huh? I just All right. I'm going to let this reduce for just a little. Then I'm going to pour it in a bowl. Okay. If you would get me a bowl. Mm-hmm. A bowl, as in in front of you. Yep. This. Yes. And I'm going to put this in the bowl. Now, if you wanted to add meat to this, you could, but it has cheese in the ravioli, ravioletti. Okay. So you don't really need to have more much protein. more protein. Okay. All right. Now. So I can see the parm is kind of melty in there. and Yeah. Just sprinkle some of this. You want the whole thing? Oh, absolutely. It's right, fresh then. basil. Well, why not? Who doesn't like fresh basil? I'm growing basil now, so I hope that... I'll yeah. be able to make this with fresh basil soon. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Well, it's pretty yummy. It looks even better because it was such a fast recipe to make. Yeah, it's so easy. The thing that takes the longest is what I already did, and that was cook the pasta. But it lets you know you can take a day and cook a couple pastas and refrigerate them. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Is Me that too. not wonderful? That's my favorite thing we've made mm. today. Okay.